This today in this uh, service, we are recording these from Emmanuel Baptist Church, and a uh, way that we can reach to you folks at the nursing homes to say that you are not forgotten, or we are still thinking and praying for you during this time of that we can't be with you personally, but we can be with you here by this video, and we thank Emmanuel for helping us with this, this uh, with these services today. Uh, we're going to read during these trying times, and especially you folks, where it's uh, you have your family not with you, can't go visit you and see you. Uh, the Word of God helps us in these times to encourage us, and the Lord is always with us. Uh, I'm going to be speaking this, this today on the 23rd Psalm, a very psalm that we're all familiar with. And it's such a good psalm for, for a time when we're lonely or in need of our Lord. We all know it. 
We all have it memorized, but today I'm going to read it from, from the Word of God today. Just read it slowly to you folks, and uh, so we can take it in. It's nothing more better than reading from God's Word. And uh, let's read Psalm 23 together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's such a good and wonderful psalm. It, it teaches us about God's care for us. As we know, David wrote this psalm, and when he wrote this psalm, he didn't just see a shepherd in the distance and know what the shepherd did. Uh, David was actually a shepherd himself, and a very good one, and a very godly man. And uh, as he, I can, you can imagine as he was helping his injured sheep and tending to them, that uh, he would, his mind would go back to God and he would think that, you know, God looks after us in this way. He looks after us with tenderness and care. And, uh, and we see this parallel that, that, uh, that will come to him as he's doing this, his work, daily work there, caring for the shepherds. And he began these psalms. He was a great writer uh, during the inspiration of God, and also he uh, was a great musician. But you got to understand sheep and what they do and, and how they just operate, how, how, what they're like uh, every day. We're going to just take a part of this, this the, today. And it says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. And we're going to see four little things very quickly in this and, and that, take, that takes from the sheep when a sheep lies down and when a sheep stands up. First, a sheep will lie down when they're well nourished. When they're they're on their feet and they go and they feed, but when they when their bellies are full and they're and they're content, they lie down. And for us, our souls are well nourished uh, when you feed on the word of God, uh, when you read His word and you pray and you hear or you hear the word of God being read, or you hear the the wonderful hymns of the faith. It restores my soul. It fills your soul. And when we do that, we'll feel we're at peace, we're calm, no matter what the other outside circumstances are. And then we're able to lie down. Second, sheep can lie down when they feel safe. See, often this is when the shepherd is near. When they know that shepherd is near. When they know that they're in that sheepfold, all protected, and he's there near them, standing near them, uh, that the shepherd, he is near, and they feel at ease, and they lie down. You, we too can feel safe in the Lord's presence. For he has promised us, he says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, I will never leave you or forsake you. And then thirdly is this, the sheep will lie down, when they have no parasite, when they have no diseases, uh, there is a parasite that gets into a sheep's head and, when, and it torments the sheep and the sheep will hit their head against rock or hit, hit their heads against the ground. And it torments them. A good shepherd will take that sheep and, and he'll uh, anoint his eyes with some uh, medication and it'll help that sheep to feel better. But you know, we have things that bug us that worry us. For instance, uh, uh, worries and fears, loneliness and phys not only phys physical pain and, and all these things, they bother us. They hinder us. And we feel like we have a bug in our head bothering us. But he tells us, be anxious. He, tells, he wants us to relieve our souls, not to be anxious, and he soothes our souls with the word of, through prayer. You can take that pain, you can take that things that are bugging you and bothering you, and bring it before him in prayer. And when you do that and leave it in his hands, he'll give you a peace that passes all understanding. 
And lastly, sheep lie down when they are at peace with one another. They are at peace with one another. The Lord wants us to live in peace, free from bickering, free from arguing, free from fighting with each other. In Colossians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, it says, Bear with one another, forgiving each other, and beyond all this, to put on love. We have seen how God's thorough, willing, and complete provision for us. It's very complete. It will always be with us. It will never expire. It will never go away. He is completely with us and provides for our every need to give our souls rest. What a wonderful God that we have. We, we, I want you today to seek him for nourishment. I want you to seek him for safety and peace and good relationships with each other. And then you'll be able to lie down in green pastures, as a wonderful psalmist has said. We're going to end with a short word of prayer. I'd like to pray for you folks at this time. Father, we thank you, Lord, for these residents and the nursing homes that uh, have trials and troubles, Lord. But let we pray, Lord, and we thank you that you are the great shepherd. You look after us like a shepherd cares for his sheep. And we thank you, Lord, for that wonderful truth and comforting that we can lie down in green pastures and have our souls at rest. We pray for these uh, dear residents today and the staff that may be with them. Encourage their hearts during these days, and we ask this in Christ's name. Amen.